only thing in this area. Um, the owners actually live in the Widewater community, so for them it's very special that they have it kind of in their own backyard. Um, it's a big thing. It was the first winery in Stafford, so it kind of set the mark. We make all of our wines here on site. Our winemaker now is a third generation Spanish winemaker. We're the first winery to do a fusion wine that takes grapes from another country, infuses them with our own Virginia grapes and makes what we call now a fusion wine. Every wine's distinctive towards the terroir and the, the, the climate in the area, so a little bit of that is in here. Um, you know, we have the Potomac close, we get an effect, a cooling effect from that. Um, the area itself was home to the Patawomac Indian tribe. Um, our first vintage wine, a 2005 wine that we did, was a Norton wine that we did with a Pocahontas label. Pocahontas was part of that tribe. We did it in old style bottles, everything, and then we donated half the proceeds back to the Indian tribe. I think our location kind of speaks for itself. Uh, you don't expect it being this close to the D.C. area, Northern Virginia, to find what we have here. Lake Anna Winery started by my family. We're second generation uh, vintner. Uh, 70 acres of rolling pasture. Have 10 different wines that we offer, and we do events and things of that nature that, that uh, I think get people entertained and excited throughout the year. We have a variety of eight different varieties of grapes that we have we're able to grow here. Uh, so you see that the evolution um, moving from a little tiny little nurtured grape up to the point where somebody really enjoys it and appreciates it. I have a bottle that's, uh, that commemorates the Civil War battles here. It's called Spotsylvania Claret. And the Claret is a combination of several different grapes. But it, the commemoration is of the battles itself. And there's a little bit of a history on each one of the battles on the back. So it's kind of one of our signature wines. We partner with vineyards and uh, breweries and distilleries all throughout the region. Each one offers something a little different as far as the types of wines that they offer, uh, the experiences that you'll have. We have uh, turkeys roaming, um, peacocks roaming, um, ducks and chickens, and we have six horses. We have uh, a couple of donkeys and a llama. It's almost like a, like a petting zoo, you know, at the same time as the winery, so we kind of have everything for everyone. It's always been a farm. It was a dairy farm for years and years before we got the property about 21 years ago. The great thing about our location is that we're on the Wilderness Battlefield. Um, there was a, the field hospital for the Battle of Chancellorsville and the uh, Battle of Wilderness were right here in this front field. It's actually where J Jackson got his arm amputated in the Battle of Chancellorsville. This winery is a little bit different from all the rest of, uh, of course, we're slowly bringing out of our, our own wines, but um, at the same time, we're promoting other Virginia wineries all around the state. We're selling their bottles, but um, like every other Virginia winery and vineyard, we um, um, buy, sell, and trade our grapes with um, a lot of different vineyards. We like to um, make wine that's you're able to pair with food, so we are going with the more full-bodied wines. The wine that we have right now, um, it's a nice blend. Um, it has ca it's Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, and Petit Bordeaux. It's just things that we love, and it's a, it's a craft, and you could change it and do all different kinds of things to get different kinds of tastes, which is very interesting. The biggest part of it is for us is that we get to watch people enjoy our product.